Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In a significant leap forward in military technology, the U.S. Army marked a pivotal moment on April 25, 2024, with the maiden test firing of the autonomous multi-domain launcher, AML, at the Yuma Proving Ground, Arizona. This unmanned variant of the M142 HIMARS rocket launcher, developed jointly by the U.S. Army Combat Capabilities Development Command Aviation and Missile Center and the Ground Vehicle Systems Center, demonstrated its prowess by successfully launching six reduced range practice rockets, RRPRs, during the test. The AML prototype's capabilities were on full display during the testing phase, showcasing its mobility and adaptability across diverse mission profiles. From teleoperation to waypoint navigation and convoy operations, the AML prototype proved its mettle, laying the groundwork for its deployment in various operational scenarios. Excitingly, another live-fire test awaits the AML prototype, slated to take place during the biannual Joint Service Valiant Shield 24 exercise later this summer. This exercise, known as one of the largest U.S. military war games in the Pacific region, promises to further validate the AML's potential. One of the key strengths of the AML lies in its seamless compatibility with existing ammunition pods utilized by the M142 HIMARS and the M270 Multiple Launch Rocket System, MLRS. This interoperability ensures access to a wide array of munitions, including precision-guided rockets, short-range ballistic missiles, and the RRPR, a crucial training munition. Moreover, with a maximum range of approximately 15 kilometers, the RRPR serves as a vital component in honing the skills of military personnel without the need for warheads or guidance systems. Visually distinctive with its truncated cab section, the AML unmanned launcher stands apart from its conventional M142 HIMARS counterpart. Despite its autonomous capabilities, the AML retains the option for remote operation, offering flexibility in command and control. Whether on-site or from a distance, the AML can be operated via teleoperation methods, bolstering its utility across various operational theaters. Features such as convoy operations, autonomous waypoint navigation, and remote-controlled turret and fire control operation underscore the AML's potential to enhance the U.S. Army's firepower significantly. Operational efficiency emerges as a clear advantage with the deployment of AMLs, particularly in terms of personnel requirements. Thanks to its compatibility with C-130 aircraft, a fleet of AMLs presents the potential to reduce personnel demands compared to crewed launch systems. This streamlined approach not only optimizes resources but also minimizes vulnerability to enemy counterattacks, enhancing the overall resilience of U.S. Army operations. Looking ahead, the U.S. Army recognizes the strategic significance of the AML, especially in the context of evolving geopolitical dynamics, particularly in the Indo-Pacific region. With a focus on countering adversary anti-access and aerial denial A2-AD strategies, the AML's rapid deployment capabilities position it as a formidable asset in modern warfare. Moreover, as global trends lean towards autonomy in military vehicles, the AML stands at the forefront of innovation, poised to shape the future of ground-based missile systems. The development of the AML also mirrors similar efforts across other military branches and nations. From Russia's plans for an autonomous 300mm multiple launch rocket system, MLRS, to the U.S. Marine Corps' remotely operated ground unit for expeditionary fires, rogue fires, the race towards autonomy in military technology is evident. Such initiatives underscore the broader pursuit of enhancing ground-launched long-range strike capabilities, aligning with the evolving nature of modern warfare. In conclusion, the autonomous multi-domain launcher represents a paradigm shift in ground-based missile systems, offering unprecedented flexibility, firepower, and operational efficiency to the U.S. Army. As it undergoes further testing and refinement, the AML holds the promise of reshaping military operations and bolstering national security in an ever-changing geopolitical landscape. That's all for now. See you later.